All right, shalom, shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, Wahavachakladash, which Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and Rachakladash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. And um, <clears throat> I just want to do a lesson on, um, as you see in the title, you know, remaining humble and being grateful. And um, what inspired this um, lesson was um, uh, the uh, the deacon uh, Nishaya out here in uh, Chicago. He uh, posted. A bunch of photos okay throughout the years you know and he's been around for you know some time now and a couple of those photos that he posted and he purposely uh posted them in our group chat uh were of um you had brothers who are still in this faith and you had individuals who ended up falling out and a lot of the uh and in particular in one photo there was about maybe uh i'll say roughly uh, give or take about 12 people on the photo and eight of them have been spiritually uh, 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 um, kicked out okay the Lord a uh, he uh, put out their candlestick all right and um you know it's a scary thing okay that's a very scary thing that the Lord can uh, one minute have the Holy Spirit on you okay and then the next minute, take it away all right and i'll say this these were men who were uh, in a uh, uh, high positions too a lot of them were uh, uh, camp heads all right in particular there was um about three guys actually i think it was four in that picture i remember three of them were the were like the top um you know i believe that they were first second and third in command in detroit okay and all three of them were kicked out and I believe it was four of them in that photo they were all from Detroit they're all gone okay and then you had um <laughs> you had Nazariah uh, nasty Nick all right Nick at night you know a couple of you uh brothers uh, of course you know brothers who have been in it for some time know who, who I'm talking about all right but uh point being you had Nazariah and a few uh, uh a few other uh, uh you know people from Chicago in that photo and they're all gone, man. And these were men who were, uh, you know, who had higher uh, uh, ranking positions, okay? And it reminded me of um, the situation with uh, King Saul, okay? You know, because uh, King Saul, he was, uh, you know, he, he had the spirit on him at one point. He was even amongst the prophets. You know, the people said it. They said, oh, is, is that King Saul, you know, amongst the prophets? You know, is he prophesying with them? All right, that's in the book of, uh, I believe, 1 Samuel, if I'm not mistaken, okay? And um, and then as you read, you know, uh, later in the uh, uh, the chapters, it talks about how King Saul had an evil spirit enter into him, right? And that's why um, King David, when, um, when you read Psalms, the 51st chapter, King David, you know, made that statement. I think it's 50 uh, Psalms 50, uh, 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 1 and 11, if I'm not mistaken. It says, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Roughly paraphrasing it. Okay? And you got to remember, King David saw what happened to King Saul, man. Okay? That's why he made that statement. Because he knew that at any moment, the Lord can strip that spirit from you. Okay? The Lord can do these things. He can do all things. And remember, King David talked about how King Saul was what? The Lord's anointed. Okay? You see? So King David, you know, he, um, that's why he, uh, 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 uh made that statement. All right? You see? So with that all being said, that's why we have to remain humble in this thing. Because the Lord, he's not looking for a proud individual. Because they want you, once that uh, pride enters in, that's when well, you depart from the Most High. Okay, as it says in the book of, uh, I think, Sirach, the, uh, I think it's the 10th chapter, maybe the 12th chapter, I forget where it's at exactly. 
By notes in the book of Sirach, it, it, you know, it talks about that. Now, no one can rebuke you. No one can reprove you. You're always right. Now, all of a sudden, you start seeing, you know, different things in the doctrine that are off. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what always happens. And I've been around for some time where, you know, I, I've seen people come and go. And one thing I've noticed with all of them, every single one that has fallen out, they've all been prideful. Every single one. And I'll say this, just a side note. There is a difference between having confidence and pride. And, you know, brothers need to understand that there's two separate things. Because you may have, you know, individuals out there that may think that a brother might be prideful. But he's not really prideful. He's actually confident. And confident means with faith when you break it down. Con meaning uh, with. And uh, fidelity meaning faith. Okay? You see? And the reason why that man comes off like that is because hey the, the spirit's been dealing with him for how many years he's been through all sorts of uh, trials and tribulations okay that man the, the, the man has <laughs> has seen some things okay and now his faith is, is uh you know is at a very high level okay but i'll say this best believe if that man you know he gets pulled into a council and that man is, you know, getting, you know, uh, you know, rebuked. Best believe, it, you know, he's he's gonna humble down, okay, and he's gonna consider what, what what just happened, okay. But like I said, you got guys out there that have, you know, come into this thing, and once that rebuke starts, you know, occurring, now their uh, neck starts hardening, as the scriptures talk about. He that is um, rebuked often hardeneth his neck. I think that's in Proverbs 29 and 1, if I'm not mistaken, okay? And once you start hardening your neck, hey, man, they, 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 destruction is coming right afterwards, okay? Pride uh, cometh before it falls, it says in the book of Proverbs, all right? You see? And then when, when, when people uh, fall away, man, they, they fall away in the worst way, man, all right? Hey, I, I forgot who said it, man. I, I, it might have even been Elazar, man. And I'm not, I'm not a particular fan of that individual. All right? But I believe he said that uh, a GMS it gets the, uh, creates the worst scoffers. I think a, a, a few uh, elders and... Uh, my, I forgot, like I said, who said it. But GMS creates the worst scoffers. Like these men, they, they, they end up having a dispute with us. Right? They a disagreement. And now all of a sudden, they, they, they all preach the hurt doctrine. Everything revolves around us. Their whole gospel is revolving around us. Instead of just teaching, you know, uh, you know, the, the, the truth. Okay? Because hey, I'll say this. Let's just say, you know, these particular individuals, all right, you disagree with, you know, said, um, you know, thing. Said, you know, uh, um, a, a part of the doctrine, right? Okay, that's out of, that's one thing out of. How many other things that we agree on? So you're only going to focus on that one thing? Nuts, man. But hey, these guys, they, they become obsessed, man. Okay? All right? And then really, that's the Lord sending a strong delusion. What does the scripture say, man? It says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living power. In the book of Sirach, it says, Give me any other plague but the plague of the, of the heart, meaning your mind. The Lord can torture you, man, without you even knowing. You know? That's a very, very scary thing that the Lord can literally send these delusions to you and then you believe it. You absolutely believe it, man. That is some scary, scary shit, man. And that's why we got to remain humble at all times, okay? That's why uh, I'll say this. The scriptures talk about what? Examining yourself. And we should be doing that daily, all right? Oh, did I talk to a brother a wrong way? You know, have I been doing enough for the Lord? Have I, I been making enough videos? Have I been reading enough? All right. Well, did I rebuke wicked thoughts when it when it came to my mind, or or was I, you know, um, you know, uh, feeding into it? You know, so on and so forth. All right. You got to do that constantly. Because right, they those demons can come in real quick, man. Real quick. 
Next thing you know, you're out of your goddamn mind, man. Just completely through. And remember, the Lord can the Lord can systematically pick you apart. It doesn't have to be right away. The Lord doesn't need to have a, a, a freaking school bus, you know, put your lights out, man. The Lord would just start, you know, uh, t t taking your, your mind away. Take your finances away. Hey, you, you know, uh, your relationships away. So on and so forth. The Lord knows how to really hurt an individual, man. Okay? So that's why we got to <laughs> examine ourselves. Like I said, remain humble. And with that all being said, with, you know, the, all these statements that I made, that's why we should be grateful that we're in this thing. Because the Lord doesn't have to uh, uh, give this to us, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord can give it to, he can, he can pick anybody. But for whatever reason, the Lord picked us. That's why you you, you should be praising Yahweh Bashem Yahushai daily, okay? And thanking him for everything that you have. The good, the bad, the ugly. Okay, whatever position the Lord has you in, thank him for that. And there's a reason why the Lord has you in whatever said position you're in, okay? You know? Because even when things get, you know, bad and ugly, so to speak, there's a lesson to be learned from it. The Lord wants you to grow. He wants you to, uh, to, to get some, you know, wisdom, some experience to, to help you out. In the, and now I'll, I'll say this, it's not just about you too. It's that, you know, of course it's going to help you out as an individual, but then it helps those around you. Okay. Because remember this ministry is not just about you. All right. Yes, it's a balance of things because, you know, the scriptures do say in Philippians 2 and 12, it says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. No doubt about it. You know, you have to do this for yourself. Okay. But this is about uh, the body too, man. It's about the men around you. Yeah, these guys are fucking bugged out, man. They literally almost fucking went into my lane, man. Head on. Oh, my God, man. That's why the, uh, the Apostle Rakha always uh, uh, emphasizes praying, man. At all times. Because these people out here, man, they are gone, man. They are gone. You know? These people are on drugs. Alcohol overworked. You know what I'm saying? Got demons on it, man. That's why the scriptures talk about how this is what the valley of the shadow of death in Psalms the 23rd chapter. At any moment, man, death, uh, death, death can hit you, man. When you least expect it. That's so why we always got to be you know, praying, man, and, 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 and asking the Lord for protection, man, because this is a scary world we really live in, you know? This is a very scary place, all right? But, uh, but yeah, but going back to what I was saying, you know, we got to be grateful, all right, for, for, for all the things that the Lord has given us. And then, you know, the Lord, he's all about balance. Eventually, he's going to, you know, uh, give you some rewards, some treats, so to speak. All right. Hey, you might you know deal with some women. All right. You know, get be able to get a little vacation in. Okay. Be able to you know eat some you know some good meals. All right. You know have you know you might have a day where you get a little drunk. You see. All right. But point being though is, hey man. You know humility is very key in this truth. You know, and, and, and pride, it doesn't get you anywhere. And as the scriptures say, anyways, uh, in the book of, um, the book of Sirach, excuse me, it says, why are earth and ashes proud? And remember, we're all made up from the earth, the, you know, the elements. So why is basically man proud? Why, why, why would you even be prideful anyways? You know what I'm saying? There's no point. At any moment, the Lord could just, you know, turn off your light switch and you're done. You see, there's no point of being proud in this thing. And it says, as the scriptures uh, uh, state also in Sirach, the greater thou art, the more humble thou shall be. Hey, you, you, you know, you start getting, you know, uh, possibly, and you know, uh, you know, you might get some rank in this. Are uh, you, you know, you, you, you know, uh, you have a little bit of longevity, so to speak, in this truth, right? That should make you more humble. Because they, you know, once you get to a certain point in this truth, hey, you, you've seen some things. And like I said, you know, those individuals in, the, in those photos that the brother uh, took, a lot of them are gone, man. 
they're just gone. A lot of them are just completely in the world. All right? And then some of them, they were uh, just full-fledged demons. You know? Switching up the doctrine. All right? Just preaching out of uh, a strife and contention. And just had, you know, just, you know, a bitterness and malice in their heart. Uh, in their heart. And they, they, they didn't get far. You know, they may have even remained for a couple years, you know, doing that BS. But none of these guys go far. Eventually, the oil runs out. You know? And then I'll say this. When all hell breaks loose, they're going to be uh, like those five uh, uh, foolish virgins. A lot of them are going to be those five foolish virgins, man. You know? That aren't going to have the oil. They are going to be uh, asking the wise virgins, which hopefully we are those wise uh, uh, virgins. They're going to be asking us for the oil when, 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 you know, when that day comes. And by that point, you know, hey, there's nothing to talk about. Why would I give my oil to you? You've had your chance. You had your opportunity. Look, the bridegroom's here. I got to get myself ready. I have to worry about me. You know? You see? Hey, you know, and it is what it is. All right, but um, you know, that's pretty much it, man. I don't think I uh, really need to, uh, you know, keep going on. You know, hey, just occupy, remain humble, okay? You know, stay faithful, be grateful, keep serving the Lord, keep pushing, keep trying to get better every day. To the best of your ability, repent. Hey, be brotherly. Hey, be charitable. Do all these things, man. Have a temperance, which is you know basically having a balance. Okay. Hey, go read. Uh, I think it's uh, First Peter, if I'm not mistaken. The uh, first chapter. If it's not First Peter, it's Second Peter, the first chapter. But it, the, the scripture where it says. And make your calling and election sure. Read the verses before it. Those verses tell you how you could be a, a, an elect member. All right. Goes into several different things. Read that and apply that to your life. And Lord willing, you know. <laughs> Lord willing, you, you know yourself. My, myself are a part of the elect You know, and we make it out of here And we're, we're the first round draft picks Okay, and we're, we're the, that, that governing body That top tier, you know Of the nation of Israel Alright, and with that, you know I'm going to end off this lesson You know, I hope this was an edifying one I'm, uh, I'm, getting, I'm going to class Lord willing, we uh, get into another lesson A little bit later tonight And um, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory To Yahweh Shemal Shai also, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and Ababa Ball.